Hello everyone, my name is Shivarajan and welcome to my new video. First of all, I'm so sorry for the delay in creating this video as I was on a short family vacation to Penang. I needed a little downtime after slogging for the past 6 months, balancing work and studies at the same time. I also needed a new inspiration to vary my contents as it will gain more interest for you, my dear viewers. Before I proceed further, I will humbly request you to click like and subscribe next to my YouTube channel link. It will mean the world to me. As I was having lunch with my family at a restaurant by the Butterfingy beach side, I encountered a very interesting human story or rather a human medical story, which I think is worth sharing. Before that, let me show you some photos and videos of the place I went to the other day. The photos and the videos you just saw is a small, humble restaurant by the beach side called Miami Cafe along with the owner which is Sophia. Now, its foods, its foods are quite cheap and the, the food are delicious too. However, I am more intrigued with the back story of the place. What I am going to share with you is the true story. 24 December 2004 Boxing Day Tsunami An earthquake with a 9.0 magnitude on the Richter scale struck just off the coast of Aceh, Indonesia triggered a mega tsunami wave which swept across Aceh territory from one coast to another coastline bringing along the rot of mother nature in the form of high waves moving at the speed of an electric train. Along its path lies destruction devastation and loss of thousand innocent lives. The Boxing Day tsunami affected many countries apart from Indonesia, such as India, Sri Lanka, Thailand and even our country Malaysia. The worst hit place in Malaysia is the island of Penang, as there is no piece of land to stop the flow of tsunami and as an effect, it got a direct hit of the tsunami's full force. What makes it even more worse is that Penang Island was not equipped with a single tsunami warning detection system, so all the victims were unprepared to face the full force of tsunami. It's hard to imagine that this tranquil beach site was one the stage of a nature's own weapons of mass destruction. I had the privilege to listen to the full story of the fateful day from the owner himself, Mr. Supia. According to him, at the very beach, 
that we stood on, 57 people lost their lives. All of them were locals. There's even an entire family who came instantly for a day out at the beach got entirely wiped out by tsunami. In total, Penang counts 72 casualties of the Boxing Day tsunami. Her daughter Tulasi was then 22 years old. The wave was so big they completely engulfed the shop and cover half the stairs. You need to take a flight of stairs down to reach the shop. So on that day, the family managed to escape the rapidly rising wave and reach higher grounds. All were there except one, Tulasi. They started to fear the worst. A day had passed and the wave receded back to the sea. There's still no sign of the to the sea. They finally came back to see the desolated and decimated shop of theirs. Suddenly, they saw a figure floating on the sea from a distance, slowly approaching their shop. And as the figure gets closer and closer and closer, it appeared to be a toddler and she's alive. And to their sheer joy and delight, it was Tulasi who was lying on the mattress which helps her to keep afloat and virtually unharmed by the waves. It was a miracle indeed to see her still alive cushioned back to her home. Since then, she was known as the Miracle Baby. She has then grown up to become a healthy 15-year-old girl who will be doing her PG3 this year. She is doing well in her studies. Well, she might not remember what happened on that day, but the nation will always remember her as Malaysia's own Miracle Baby. Anyone in Penang right now who plans or who plans to cafe, I'll post the location of the restaurant in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.